So this is a new game that we just acquired the North American Rice to this week, in fact. And this is Escape Room. Are you familiar with the Escape Room phenomenon? Yeah. Alright, so this is the game version of this. You know, it is murder, essentially a murder mystery party. So the way it works is each escape room game is going to come with four different rooms. And within each room, there are three different sections. And the object of the game is to solve and unlock the puzzles that will give you clues to a certain uh, code that will then allow you to progress to the next level. You have 60 minutes in order to get through all three levels. If you do so successfully, you've escaped the room. If not, you're trapped. <laughs> so to give you kind of an example, we'll take a look at the first part. So part one, start the clock. The clock is ticking. So I'll take out the clues for part one. All right. So, you need to start taking a look, and you know, at first you're not sure where to uh, where to tackle. But if you look at the crossword puzzle, you'll notice that there are four letters missing. So if you start to look for the corresponding numbers within the crossword puzzle, you'll see a little spell out a word. So 13 D. All right, so D. And then if you follow all the numbers, eventually spell the word down. Down matters. So down on the crossword puzzle. So if you start reading down, find the wrong digits in Sudoku. So that leads to the next clue. Start looking at the Sudoku puzzle. So now you're trying to find what part of the Sudoku puzzle is out of place. And I'll give you the clue. The center part of the Sudoku, there are two sixes, which is incorrect because you know the numbers never repeat. Yeah. So now you know that six is going to be one of the four uh, code entries in order to unlock it. But let's say you're not very clever and you get you know you like like myself and you get stumped. Well, after five minutes. Once you get to the 55 minute mark, you can use a hint and you put the hint into the code detector and it'll tell you, read all down words on the crossword puzzle. So it would have kind of nudged you towards that, okay. at, towards that anyway. But it's also good to check it out to make sure it's keeping you kind of like you're on the right yeah. path. Right? So the next version. We're looking at this guy's mugshot. Nothing special but except for the numbers. If I look on the back same set of numbers or is it you notice the three and the two are different so you know now three or two is going to be important then you take a look at this the fourth clue nothing special on the front if I go to the back very dimly if you can see is 23 times 5 151 that's incorrect it's 115 so the five and the one are out of place but you know for the sake of time I can tell you it's six Two five one. So you find the keys six two five one. Put it into the timing device. It will ring. You know, bing. If you get it correctly, you can then proceed to level two. If you get it wrong, you hear an eh noise, and then you'll lose a minute on the time. So you don't want to just randomly start you yeah. know, putting in the keys. If you move to part two, you can see. There's room, and all around there are all sorts of clues. In there, there's a certain set of numbers, where if you match the numbers on the side device, eventually you'd spell the word locker. Locker, so it points to the locker. So you kind of see there's this progressive set of clues that kind of helps you uh, solve what's the ultimate code. And then the third and final stage is the, the exit room, where you can escape to freedom if you find the code. And this under is 60 be minutes. Some sort of game where you're going to continue on with different. Like, Correct. So this is the base package, and then this is the base package comes with four. Mm -hmm. Eventually, in 17, we'll be selling expansion packs. So it really okay. keeps it going. And some people won't get it the first time. Mm -hmm. So they'll just almost like a video game. You'll play it again until you can kind of, you know, literally crack the code <laughs> of of the game. Very but cool. obviously, once you've cracked the code, you can't necessarily play that game anymore because yeah. you have solved all of the uh, all of the mysteries. Very cool. So that is Escape Room.